all cozy. Okay. Just making sure that you are all tucked in for our session and treatment tonight. How was the temperature of the room for you? Okay. Do you need an extra blanket or is this sheet okay? All right, you just let me know if you are too hot or too cold. We can rectify that immediately, okay? All right, so it's very nice to meet you. My name is Calliope, and I am going to be your sleep technician tonight at our sleep clinic. I'd like to just get a few bits of information from you, okay? mind just confirming your name and date of birth? Mm -hmm. Okay, and is that your preferred name and how do you like to be addressed? Okay, very good. Now, would you mind telling me what your reason is for your visit at the sleep clinic today. Okay, so we're dealing with insomnia. Okay. 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 Would you mind telling me a little bit about that in your own words? Mm-hmm. So things like the frequency of your insomnia? Does it happen every night? Is it most nights? Half the time? Only a couple of times? How often would you say in a given week are you experiencing this insomnia? Very good. And what time do you believe you actually fall asleep? Not what time you go to bed, but the time you fall asleep. Okay. And what time do you often go to sleep? Or rather go to bed, I suppose I should say. Right? And what time do you on average wake up? And this would be for your day where you physically get out of bed, not exactly if you wake up in the night and then go back to sleep. Very good. So what would you say your total time asleep generally is. Okay. Very good. And how do you believe your quality of sleep is? Do you still feel well rested after you wake up or are you finding yourself feeling exhausted, or feels like you haven't had any sleep at all. Okay. Okay. Would you mind telling me a little bit about your usual bedtime routine? Whether it's settling down with a cup of tea, or reading, playing video games, watching the television, anything in particular you use to settle down? Okay, 
So do you find that you get a lot of screen time? Whether that is television, computer, phone, anything like that? Okay. Alright, and do you find that you're using screens up until you're about to go to sleep? Okay. And do you happen to use a blue light filter on any of your devices? Okay. All right, so that might be something in the future to think about. It's quite easy. So with phones and computers in particular, we're up generally quite close to them and they can emit blue light, which keeps us awake and can have some detrimental effects to your health should you have quite a bit of exposure to it. It oftentimes will mess with your sleep, but phones generally nowadays will have a button, whether it's in the display settings, somewhere in your phone's setup. There's often a blue light filter and on computers, and I'm speaking from using a PC, I'm not sure about other models, but on my PC, I have a setting under display called night light, and this is also a blue light filter. So that might be advantageous to use in the future so that you're cutting that blue light down so that it affects you less overall, okay? Alright, so do you typically have any caffeine after about noonish? I would say at least 8 to 10 hours before you go to bed. Caffeine certainly, for some people, especially those with ADHD, neurodivergency, sometimes caffeine can make them focus more. Sometimes it can even put you to sleep. So I realize that that's not necessarily a one-size-fits-all. However, we want to make sure we're reducing our caffeine intake and I would say on a quote-unquote normal sleep schedule that we're not consuming caffeine after 3 p.m. at the latest. But then again, people have different bedtimes, people have different, different sorts of routines and jobs, but that's something to think about, take a look at, okay? Alrighty. Alright, I'm not seeing... You haven't had any problems with sleep disorders. Is that correct? Okay, I'm not seeing any here in your medical history. That's good. Okay, any other sort of health problems that aren't listed in your medical history? all there. That's good. All right, so I'm not seeing any contraindications to our treatment today. So I'm just going to place my clipboard down and we're going to do a little general checkup, okay? All right, so let's start with sanitizing our hands, okay? Just going to sanitize them real quick. Okay. Now, I know I came in here and fiddled and mother hen your legs down here, but I want to just make sure 
that I have your permission to touch you for the parameters of our examination. Touching legs versus getting up close in your personal space is a little different, so I'd like to just make sure that that's okay with you. Okay? All right. If you're uncomfortable at any point, just let me know. All right. We are going to start with taking your temperature, okay? I'm going to have you open your mouth and touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Okay, just like that. Be here for just a moment. take your pulse and respiration rate, if you don't mind. Since I'm closer to this side, I'm going to use this arm, if that's okay. Alright, so let me just put my fingers on the radial artery here. And I want you to just relax. Relax your arm, okay? are a little high as well. Okay, so do you normally have quite a high resting heart rate or are you particularly feeling anxious or scared at all? Mm-hmm. Well, I assure you that should anything go wrong, and I highly doubt it will, in the worst case scenarios, I will take care of everything. I will make sure you are safe, okay? You will be just fine, I promise, right? I'm here for the whole time. You're not going to be left alone, okay? I'll be here with you. We'll get it all figured out, and we'll see if we can get you to a nice, slow, relaxed state, okay? All right. Let's see. I'm just going to be taking your... in the stethoscope, okay, then we're just going to take our sphygmo manometer here, and again, I'm going to wrap it on this arm, that's the one I have best access to, it's going to be quite firm, but it is a brief procedure, okay? Sphygmo manometer dial right in the hand there. I'm going to hold the stethoscope diaphragm there, right there, and I'm just 
going to be inflating the cuff, measuring your blood pressure. that valve back up and is on the higher end of normal, but we had discussed that you had some anxiety regarding our procedure, so that makes sense. Right, and let's go ahead and continue on. I'm going to start by doing a brief eye examination, okay? So, I have a little pen light here. Now, it might be a little bright. I want you to do the best you can, but you're more than welcome to blink if you need to, okay? I know it is quite bright, right? So, I'm gonna have you just stare straight ahead for me, okay? Keep staring straight ahead. Very good. Okay. Keep staring straight ahead. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Okay. Right. I want you this light all the way back there. I want you to follow the light using only your eyes without moving your head. Okay? I'm going to come in and out. In and out. If you could keep following the light for me here, right? Do the best that you can. Using only your eyes without moving your head. Just do the best you can to follow the light. the light. Very good. Okay. I'm gonna get up pretty close. All right. I want you to just go ahead and stare straight ahead. Mm -hmm. 
I can tell you're a little tired, huh? Yeah. Your eyes are while they can do the full movements, they're just a little slow with it. Not exactly a delay, but just slow. And your eyes here, they have a touch of redness to them. Look a little bloodshot, which if you're getting the amount of sleep that you've mentioned, that wouldn't surprise me at all. Okay? Alrighty. Let's go ahead and take a look at your nose. If you wouldn't mind just pulling your head back for me. was snoring? Not generally? Okay. That's good. If you did, this would be the right place to be so we could monitor whether that was a deeper problem, like sleep apnea. Let's go ahead and take a look at your mouth and your throat. Just gonna have you open your mouth for me, and I'm just going to press your tongue down, just like that. Okay. All right. If you could just say "ah" uh, for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. Go ahead and close your mouth. You had any problem with reoccurring sore throats at all? You find that it's very dry in the morning? Okay, not so much. That's good. What about your mouth? Does your mouth feel quite dry in the morning as well? No oh, good. good. Yeah, some of us, if we sleep with our mouths open, we end up with a sore or dry throat and a dry mouth, which is not, is not ideal. Okay, now, let me just take a little peek at your ears. For this, I'm just going to stand up. Okay, flip on the light. Settle back down. Do you happen to sleep with earphones or headphones on? Okay, that's good. You gotta be careful with that because those will block your ear canals, which can lead to a buildup of cerumen, can lead to your ears becoming quite sore. Sometimes you can even see some cuts or swelling because of that. So if you're going to 
wear headphones for sleeping. They do make special sleep bands that you can put around your head. They generally work with Bluetooth so that you're not blocking your ears, okay? All right, so lastly, let's bring out the stethoscope and we're gonna take a little listen to your heart and your lungs. Okay, so I'm just gonna place this on your chest. We're gonna listen to your heart first, right? Just want you to breathe normally for me. Go ahead and listen to your lungs. I want you to take a deep breath in when I prompt you. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. in and out. Last one. Deep breath in and out. Okay. All right, so heart still beating a little quick. Not as fast as it was before, which is good. But when I was listening to your heart, I noticed that your breathing is a little shallow. What I mean by that is it's almost like you're taking shorter breaths that primarily come from your chest. And when we do that, when we're not completely filling our lungs with oxygen, sometimes that can make our anxieties worse. Sometimes you can feel a little, a little bit of tension there as well if you're not filling your lungs with oxygen. So we'll work on that today. We'll work on getting you some fresh air all through your lungs. When we do that, that just naturally lengthens our breath and naturally helps to calm down our body. Okay? So now we get into the actual sleep treatment part of our session today. Now I like to start this with our deep breathing, all right? Now what I want you to do when you do this deep breathing, I want you to feel it mostly coming from your abdomen. What I mean by that is instead of feeling your chest rise, Quite a bit. Instead, you're feeling your abdomen rise as you breathe in. If you need to, you can put your hand on your chest and the other on your abdomen. You want the hand on your chest to not rise very much while the one on your abdomen does. And that ensures that we're really getting that long, deep, Right, so 
I want you to take a deep breath in with me. Hold for a moment. And exhale fully through your mouth. Okay, we're going to add a count to that. Breathe in through your nose. One, two, three. Hold. One, two, three. And exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, can we do that? Do the best you can, okay? If you need to shorten that time a little bit, you're more than welcome, okay? I want you to make sure that this feels good and it feels productive for you. Take a deep breath in. One, two, three. Hold. One, two, three. And exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do one more. Deep breath in. One, two, three. Hold. One, two, three. of question and answer. I want you to tell me about the sensations you are currently feeling in your body. I want you to take note of which areas are holding tension, what places feel sore, maybe do we feel pain in a certain place, I want you to take note of all of that right now. These notes are just that. It's just notes. It's just information. It's just signals that our body is giving us. Give us a little bit of an idea of what's going on, okay? Neither good nor bad. Just signals. Just information. Okay, so I want you to tell me about the sensations you're currently having. Okay, feeling some tension. And where is that in your body? Where do you feel that? Okay. Right. And what else do you feel? And where do you feel that in your body? Good. And anything else? Okay. So, with these sensations, I want you to keep them in mind. They may change or diminish over the course of our session. I want you to just keep in mind this is what you're feeling right now. It's not good or bad. It just is right now. Okay? Now, would you mind telling me about any thoughts that are running through your mind right now? I'm not here to do any sort of judgment at all, but a lot of us that experience insomnia can often have reoccurring, ruminating thoughts, and sometimes the best thing to do is to say them aloud or to journal them so that we complete that cycle so that our thoughts are not just continually being brought up. Okay. No judgments, just 
It's just words, it's just thoughts. good and any sort of emotions that you're holding on to right now okay emotions are also just information it's just signals okay we give emotions power by assigning them good or bad sort of qualifiers when in reality it's just it's just information okay they don't have to hold any power over you if you don't want them to it's just information okay now with these thoughts sensations and emotions we're going to do another round of deep breathing and Hopefully, with this, we're able to quiet things down a little bit. We've discussed it. We've talked about it a little bit. It's out in the open. We know what's going on. Now it's time to acknowledge it and let it relax a little. Okay? Take a deep breath in for me. One, two, three. Hold, one, two, three, and exhale, one, two, three, four, five, good, deep breath in, one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, and exhale. Last one. Take a deep breath in. One, two, three, and hold. One, two, three, and exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. We're going to do a little progressive relaxation sort of exercise, okay? We're going to manually tell each of your body parts to relax, to let go, to go to sleep, okay? We're going to start with your feet down here, okay? Your feet. I want you to focus on your feet. I want you to focus on your toes, okay? If you want, you can wiggle your toes or curl your feet. Something that makes you focus on them a little further. Okay? And then I want you to let them relax. Relax. We're going to feel that relaxation feeling travel from your toes up your feet. Okay? We're going to move to your ankles here. Okay? I want you to focus on your ankles. You can roll them around a little bit. Then I want you to let them rest. We feel that relaxation travel from your toes, your feet, to your ankles. Okay? So that all feels relaxed. We've eliminated that tension. It's 
time for those parts to go to sleep. We're gonna travel up the shins here to the calves. I want you to clench these muscles, clench your calves, tighten up that muscle, and then let it go all at once. Let your calves relax and go to sleep. We have our toes, our feet, our ankles, and now our lower legs. We're going to move to the knees here. I want you to do the best you can to tense up around the knee, okay? If you need to bend your leg a little bit so you can feel that joint there, more than welcome to. I want you to feel your knees, tense them up, get them moving, and then let them relax all at once. Let your knees relax. Let them go to sleep. Then we move up to the thighs and Two other areas that go along with this are your hips and your butt. You can tense all these areas at once and let them relax all at once. I want you to tense your thigh muscles, your butt muscles around your hips. Tense up those muscles and then let them all at once. Let those muscles relax. Let those muscles sleep. Okay? Now we'll move to your abdomen here. I want you to clench those abdominal muscles. Do the best you can. I want you to feel that tension. And then let it go all at once. Let your abdomen rest. Let it relax. Let it go to sleep. Now we have from your toes, your feet, your ankle, your calves, your knee, your thigh. But hips and abdomen all relaxed. All relaxed. Okay? Let's go ahead and move up to your chest. So, if you have the ability to, I want you to try to tense up that area. Sometimes you can do that by pulling in your shoulders, your arms. Feel that tension in this area. Let that tense up for a few moments and then let it go all at once. Let the tension go. Let this area relax. Let this area sleep. Next, we move on to the shoulders. Can give these a little bit of a rotation, a little bit of movement, and then let them relax. Let them sleep. Let your shoulders relax. We're going to move to the upper arms here. I want you to do your best to clench that area and then release the tension all at once. Feel that relaxation 
all the way from your toes up your body, up your chest, shoulders, and arms. Want us to go to the elbows. You need to move your arms at the joint a couple of times and then let your elbows relax. Feel the tension release from this area and relax. I want you to move to your forearms. Feel the relaxation travel down and now we're focusing on our forearms. I want you to do your best to clench this area. Sometimes you can you can feel the muscles clench right there. Okay. Do your best to tense up this area. And then let it go all at once. Let that area relax. move to your wrists. You can let your wrist rotate a little bit. Rotate the wrists and then let them relax as well. Lastly, we're going to curl our hands into fists, clench them as tight as we can, and release. All at once, feeling the tension leave our hands. So now, from our neck down, we should feel relaxed. You might feel a little bit of heaviness. You might feel fatigue. Relaxation has started from our toes up to the feet ankles, calves, knees, thighs, butt, hips, abdomen, chest, shoulders, arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, and hands. Now we're going to work up to the neck. I want you to do your best to try to clench this area. Clench that area and then release the tension all at once. Let your neck relax. Let those muscles to move on to our mouths. I want you to focus on this area as well as your jaw. I want you to clench your teeth. Wouldn't go too hard with that. Just, just a nice, nice clench to them. I want you to feel that tension for a few moments and then release all at once. Then we'll focus on our nose. We can get a nice scrunch in our nose. Nice little scrunch. I want you to scrunch up your nose for a few moments and then relax your nose. Feel the tension. Leave the lower part Now we're going to move to the eyes. I want you to close your eyes as tight as possible. Keep them real closed. And then after a few moments, I want you to open them. You can make them close again afterwards if 
you'd like. But I want you to just feel that tension leave the area around your eyes. And lastly, we're going to focus on the forehead. I want you to scrunch up your forehead as best as you can. This may also scrunch up your nose. Scrunch up your forehead, hold that for a few seconds, and then let the tension release all at once, okay? So we want our whole face to feel relaxed. We want all the muscles of our face to go to sleep. So we relax from our toes to our feet, our ankles, our calves, our knees, our thighs, our butt our hips, our abdomen, chest, shoulders, upper arms, elbows, lower arms, hands, neck, mouth and jaw, nose, eyes, and forehead. Your body should feel a lot more relaxed, a lot more at ease. We're going to finish with a little bit of deep breathing again, and then I'm just going to give your legs a little massage, a little squeeze, help work out any of those last bits of tension, okay? All right, I want you to take a deep breath in. Hold and release. I'm not counting breaths this time, John doing what feels good. Take a deep breath in. Hold. And release. Deep breath in. Hold. And release. our treatment session. I'm going to get up and I'm just going to give your legs a little massage before I leave. I really hope that you feel so much less tense, so much more relaxed, and that you're able to fall asleep quickly and stay asleep, all right? Okay, so I'm just going to move my stool here. touch before I leave.
wonderful dream and I hope you wake up tomorrow nice and refreshed, right? I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. subscribe.